Hello everyone and welcome back to another a very interactive chess game from the Reykjavik Open chess tournament and I'd like to show you the chess game of the champion of Reykjavik Open Nils Grandelius, the leading Swedish chess grandmaster and his opponent is Peter Large in this chess game so Grandelius outrates his opponent massively he was 26-58 when this chess game happened and his opponent Peter Large was 22-27 and also Grandelius had the age advantage against his opponent. His opponent was 67 years old. This is only for the records. So let's see what happened in this chess game. Grandelius from Sweden. He starts the game with knight to f3 and the British chess master plays knight to f6. So knight to f3 is also known as the ready opening g3 b6. So pushing the pawn d4 e6 and we have the queen's Indian defense bishop to b7 c4 bishop to b4 checking the king and bishop to d2 blocking a5 and white castled also black castled bishop to f4 and bishop goes back queen to c2 developing the knights and then d5 charging at the center and knight up and you can see that the d pawn is suddenly pinned because if capturing the pawn that's losing the bishop so defending the bishop queen to c8 and e4 by Niels Grandelius d takes on e4 charging at the center exchanging and pushing the pawn centralizing the rook and capturing knight to c5 knight in and knight to d6 so we see simplification of this chess game bishop takes on g2 king takes on g2 checking the king and blocking now we see rook over targeting a uh, lining the rook with the queen queen to e2 and knight back attacking the rook so rook to d2 and in this position actually black was doing fine but in this position black played a passive move black is moving the same piece once again knight to f6 and what do you think in this position black should do uh, of course this knight is looking pretty active and pretty close to the king so pushing the pawn and giving the knight to the boot giving the knight the boot was actually a pretty decent move pushing the pawn should have been considered but moving the same piece once again is actually not a good move because this is actually giving the time to Grandelius to double his rooks so creating a bad battery on the d-file 8-6 and then rook to d4 so he can actually swing his rook over to the king side potentially and attack the king and also uh, as you can see white has the control of the d file which is also very important rook over and queen to e3 by grandelius and is this actually trapping the bishop because black can push the pawn and that is trapping the bishop but actually queen to e3 was a winning move in this position believe it or not king to h7 happens e, let's play a very silly random move what would you do in this position if you had the white pieces what would you do if you had the white pieces can you guess the next move then actually white could sacrifice the bishop this was the idea and if capturing the bishop then queen takes or actually instead of queen takes maybe rook over is even more accurate and then capturing the pawn with the queen and how to defend the checkmate on h8 and it seems like there is no sensible defense and the question of the day what happens if pushing to g5 can you see what happens in this position then sacrificing the bishop but only for temporary queen takes on g5 and this is check and also attacking the knight after moving the king which is one of the only move capturing the knight and actually knight is coming and then it looks like black is not going to survive also you can swing the rook and in this position if you do something like this not knight to g6 of course we have checkmate in one move so you can see that in this position white is threatening some very strong attacking uh, moves like bishop takes on h6 so king to h7 
Uh, it looks like this is a prophylactic move defending uh, the pawn. And in this position, Grandelius played a very beautiful attacking move. He played bishop takes on h6. This is the move. So g takes on h6, sacrifice is accepted, and then rook over to h4 and targeting on h6. And how to defend? This is the only defense, defending, but now hitting the pawn for three times. And now how to defend? White hits, uh, white is hitting on h6 with the knight, with the rook, and with the queen. Black is only defending for two times, so this doesn't look very good. And actually there is no sensible defense, so white sacrificed a piece. But it looks like white uh, has a very strong attack for the sacrificed piece. So defending and queen to e7. Uh, but this is not defending actually, white is smashing in. Ooh, rook takes on h6. We have king to g7. Uh, in this position, what happens if knight takes on h6, then capturing, and after moving the king, the only move, knight to f6, is actually losing the queen, and this is the only move. Capturing, and this is very good for white. White is winning. Uh, so, in this position, rook takes on h6, king to g7. And then Grandelius played rook to d4, lifting the rook up. He can potentially use the other rook as well. So escaping, of course in this position, capturing the rook with the knight is going to fail because of this. And king up and then checking the king. And this is the only move, basically this is losing the queen again. So rook up and then king back, but now pinning the knight, rook to h8. And can you see the threat? Well, Peter Lurch is fighting for his dear life. In this position, let's make a random move, let's say pushing the pawn, e5, then not knight to h6, but actually queen to h6 is check, mate, lights out, because this knight is pinned. So very beautiful attack by Grandelius, pushing the pawn, so making room for the king, but then knight to h6 this time, and threatening checkmate, so making room for the king. Capturing a very simple move, only move, and now what would you do in this position? Grandelius played the move, and Black resigned. Did you see that move? What would you do in this position? Let me give uh, let me give you three seconds to pause the video if you need. One, two, and three. So it looks like the rook is under attack, maybe capturing the rook comes to mind, but Grandelius played a brilliant move, he played rook to g7 and black resigned. Because of this possible continuation, capturing the rook, sacrificing the rook, but this is walking into the forking. Knight takes on f5, forking the king and the queen, and it is getting worse because you can take the knight because of getting checkmated. And if king to h7, then rook to h4 is checkmate. There is no sensible defense. So in this position, rook to g7 was a beautiful move. And if king to f8, if not capturing the rook, and this is the only uh, second legal move, then check. And actually this is winning the queen. And perhaps the chess game because uh, white has the queen against the rook and the knight. So this is winning. And also white has two extra pawns and the past pawn so this looks menacing this looks like black is in big trouble so nice grandelius was the winner of the reykjavik 2023 chess tournament so congratulations to grandelius and thank you very much for watching and i hope to see you next time so take care and bye bye